So the first racket I'm going to review today is the uh, Jonah Barrington racket. Got to go for the legend first. Just take it out of its wrapping. I love doing this. This is the best part, really. So here we got it. So it's the X Lite 110. This racket, and uh, it's the signature frame for Jonah Barrington. It's 110 grams, unstrung. It's a 490 centimeter squared head shape, uh, which is slightly larger for a, a, jet, a greater sweet spot. Um, now this racket is uh, headlight balance. It gives you a lot more racket head speed through the shot. You can generate more power and racket head speed through a shorter swing. Now, this is favored by my father, who of course came from the, the, the time when they used the wooden rackets, which was a full loopy swing. Now that he's, um, that bit older, he can generate more power from a short swing. It's a bit easier on his arm, to be quite honest with you. Now that uh, when he is on court coaching, for myself, I've always loved a, a slightly even headlight uh, racket balance. When I was playing, I loved that as well, particularly on the glass court. So you could be a bit more deceptive. Uh, felt more comfortable for me. The frame is um, a little, little bit, probably by about a millimetre, slightly thicker, a little bit of extra uh, graphite reinforcement than our previous range but this gives uh, no difference in the, in the weight or the balance. It just gives a little bit of extra stability without sacrificing weight and balance. So um, a very, very popular, for, uh, very popular racket closed throat, which is a lovely shape, a really classic shape. Um, what is also good about the, uh, the new eye rackets is that they come with a quality grip and the string quality is a lot higher than um, some other brands. And this is great because you can test the racket straight away off the shelf but this is the frame of the legend. Six times British Open champion for any of those youngsters that don't know who Jonah Barrington is. He's also the coach of Mohamed El Shabagi, the world number one, and the founder of the professional game. So there you go.